the teams are out on the field, Fulham uh, just uh, high-fiving and patting each other and uh, looking uh, positive as they go out. Saints will do their huddle, of course, as normal. There are four changes to the Southampton side. This is a real test of their squad strength this afternoon. As the ball headed down by Cavalero well, and he gets, lays it off to Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Good play from Fulham, spreading the play from right to left. On the edge of the box with Lookman. Lookman shoots, deflects, and down for McCarthy is simple enough as it took the pace off it, as it just caught a Saints book. And Saints caught out there, but done at the back post. That good play from Cavalera and Loftus-Cheek, opening them up. And then now Saints on the attack again. Is that a trip? It is. I think this will be a Ward-Prowse situation. They're about 25 yards out, Harry Reid tricks Shea Adams up. defensive that from Fulham, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Harry Reid gives away the free kick to Shea Adams. Yeah. And In these situations, with somebody like Ward-Prowse on your side... Fulham have the wall. Ward Prowse picks the ball back up. Now he's going to place it down. As always, Ryan Bertrand stands with him, offering that left foot option. It's only about whether James Ward Prowse has decided this is a scorable or a cross. Now, Harry Reid is lying down behind the Fulham wall, which I think is uh, interesting. So you can presume if the wall is just outside the box that this is about Goalkeeper 29 looks a yards. Lot to his left. He does. 29 yards out, left of centre, four man wall plus Reed on the floor. Here comes Ward-Prowse, whips it off the crossbar, comes back out, and then Shea Adams should have scored. And he may just have completely missed the ball as he was running in for the rebound off the crossbar, but Ward-Prowse comes as close as anyone to getting a goal in this game. It remains nil-nil, but that, Dave, was almost perfect once more from the skipper. Oh, he's, uh, he's tremendous, and I did say, uh, for me... He's the best at taking dead ball situations just around outside of the box, around the D. He smacks that one. It hits hits the bar. It comes back. Oh, and Adams misses it, well, Dave. I don't, know, I don't know what happened there. Adams seemed to come in, and the ball's bounced for him awkwardly, and he's not being able to get a hold of it. Walcott's now into that deep position, and he's running at the Fulham defence. Central, pushed to his right slightly, and then he just stumbled. Almost got his foot caught in the turf, I think. And that was a gimme, because Walker-Peters was offering him on the right. Diallo's trying to fill in there, but he hasn't got back in time to stop Robinson crossing it from the left. Free header, oh. and he's gone over the bar, and really, Ivan Cavallero should have got that on target. And Saints again, Dave, leaving a Fulham man between defenders, no one near him as the cross came in from Robinson, and his good early cross was perfect. You just feel the team that can get that, that breakthrough. Yeah longer this goes on, it's got 1-0 written all over it. But can Saints nick it? Get a Boxing Day win, go for that record 10th win in a row against promoted sides. Good header forward towards the edge of the box. Adams trying to control it. Shane Long will hit it and Ariola has to turn that over. First real save they forced out of the Fulham goalkeeper. Terrific drive from Long from about 20 yards out as Adams held it up. It was nodded down in Long's path and he's volleyed that right above the keeper's head. He only had to flick it with his hand as Bednarik sends it forward. Diagonal long ball, it's a good one as well. First time Cross got a Fulham deflection. There's appeals for a handball from Bertrand, who's disappointed his good cross was blocked. But he's not getting that off the referee. And Anthony Robinson brings it forward for Fulham. Into feet, it wasn't an easy ball. Lookman had to deal with it under pace. Stevens isn't going to get there ahead of Anguissa, who's charging forward down the left, looks up from the edge of the box, checks onto his right foot, crosses it, and that was an important clearance for Saints from Ryan Bertrand, who tucked in this time. Now the cross comes in from the right, header away only finds Lookman, thinks about curling the shot, maybe should have done, and he does, and it deflects off the head and goes just past the post, off Bed Narek for a corner. The referee's having a, a view, looking for a handball, Saints. They're going back to the VAR that Bertrand appealed for. And it, we, we're watching a replay here, everyone. Ball in, definitely hits the hand of the defender, Aina. The decision will be, was it in a natural position? Oh, it is a corner. Play on, corner to Fulham. Well, I in think towards Fulham McCarthy. fortunate there, Adam. Yeah. But uh, this time, Cavalero can't hold it up, so Saints win it back. Now, can Saints have a period of pressure on the Fulham penalty area? Haven't really had a sustained period, Dave, in the game, have they? As it gets put in early down the left from Bertrand. Onside and a shot and a volley. Shane Long has scored. If the flag goes up, it's going to deny him a first goal since February, and it has. And the flag's gone up. He hit that so well, Shane Long. He hit it like a man in form. Oh, and he'll be gutted, Dave. The ball. What yeah. you don't want to do, though, Adam, 
is oh. uh, is lose the game at this stage. That would be uh, a heartbreaker, wouldn't it? Aston Villa are three 0 up against Palace now. El Ghazi scored a third, but they've been down to ten men uh, since half time. As Saints try and create a penalty for themselves, and Walker Peters well, dragged down in the box. He's the biggest threat for me, Walker Peters. He's made defenders make decisions, hasn't he, Dave? He's taken Absolutely them on. Absolutely right, Adam. And uh, we haven't and done enough of that for me. No, though. nothing. Ward Prowse, big diagonal ball from the centre circle. Again, Walker Peters is the man he's found on the right. Looks to play it in field, but he's won a corner, has he? Referee says yes. I have to say, Dave, when he was brought down in the box, initially he rode the challenge from. Um, Loftus cheek. I'm just wondering if Loftus cheek then actually caught him when he would carried on his slide, but and he was bundled over by Robinson, who probably got a bit of the ball. But he's done well, Carl Walker Peters, with three games in a week coming up. Corner from the right from Ward Prowse. Oh, and it's to Stevens, I think. Jack Stevens got his head to it about eight yards out, and just couldn't make the connection he wants, and it's pinged off the top of his head and gone out for a goal kick. But. Uh... Walker Peters really has, since from the day he, he arrived here to now, really has improved at him. Yeah. It's you know, he's made good. that position his own, hasn't he? Absolutely. Good ball from Armstrong down the right. Flicked on by Long. Now Shea Adams on the right-hand side. Puts a low ball in and Southampton have taken the lead. And Theo Walcott's timed his run to perfection, it looks like, from the left-hand side. Shea Adams pinged the cross in low and Walcott makes a great connection. And he has his third Saints goal. And with less than six minutes to go, Southampton could have the vital breakthrough here. All three of his goals away from home, and this one could be priceless if VAR doesn't rule it out for offside against Shea Adams, Dave Merrington. That's, that's the first combination we've had of the two strikers, where they've played together, they've played the ball in behind the full-back, the striker's gone in behind the full-back and whipped it in, and uh, Walcott has gone on the end of it. It's going to be offside, Dave. I think Shea Adams oh, is going to be what, called what for shame. his foot. What a I shame, know. because that, that is good play, that. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's not been the, the most of exciting of games, has it? But uh, to be honest, Adam, away from home, you know, if you can come away with Still a point. Still a threat, though. Anguissa going to the byline, edge of the six-yard box, pulls it back. The shot will come out. Brilliant block Great by block. Jack Stevens. What a good block that is. To deny Aina a that shot from the penalty area. Block. And that's the last action of the game at Craven Cottage. Crucial touch, a clean sheet for Jack Stevens on his return to the team, coming in for Yannick Vestergaard. Ralph Harsenhutl looks relatively happy there with that point, having lost Vestergaard, having lost Romeo, having lost Danny Ings and Nathan Redmond, all to injury for this game. That was a hard-earned point for Saints at Craven Cottage, but it is a point, Dave Merrington, and it is a clean sheet.